Hey, what's up everybody? So today we are going to be preparing a couple chips in this bathtub, pressed steel tub. So kind of like a porcelain chip repair. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sand the area, kind of stuff up the area around it. So that way we have something for the patch material to adhere to. So I'm going to go ahead and scuff up that chip. And here's a patch that someone was trying or attempted to do before. I'm going to go ahead and sand it down. I scraped off some of it but I'm gonna go ahead and sand it down, scuff up the area around it, and get it ready for the putty. So we've got the putty right here. It's basically like a Bondo, an all-purpose putty. And here's the hardener. Remember, I always put a bead of the hardener across the diameter of the Bondo, and then I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up. I'll mix it up, but then I like to fold it. I've seen a lot of videos, and just from experience, when you fold it like this, it mixes it so much better and the product itself works out um, a lot better and it's easier to work with and so it also dries and hardens much quicker so i'm gonna go ahead and put that on i usually even though it's a small area i'll still put a generous amount on as far as thickness goes because i like to sand it down pretty hard uh, once it's dry so as you can see i put some lacquer thinner on a paper towel and it just helps me clean up that area. Some people will mix onto like a cardboard or some type of tray, uh, but I'll usually just go right next to the area I'm patching and then just wipe it up with some lacquer thinner. Lacquer thinner is a great cleaner for bathtubs. And so I'll use that to kind of clean up around the area. So here I'm gonna go ahead and just start sanding on the area. I'm using, usually I'll use anywhere from 120 to 180 grit sandpaper. And here I'm just using a little sanding pad from uh, my orbital. But I'm gonna go ahead and sand down pretty hard. Some of it's gonna come off actually, to the point where I just leave um, the Bondo or the putty over the damaged area itself, just like that. Um, so I'll sand it down pretty hard, removing any of the thicker areas. Then I'll go ahead and spray. I'm using the Rust-Oleum Appliance Spray. Um, I spray that on and to be honest, this is the color, the finish, that matches best with any pressed steel tub or kitchen sink. There's no other reglazing material that I found or could color match to match it as close as this. So the product itself is not bad. You might get differing opinions, but I've found that it works out really well. So I use the Rust-Oleum appliance cleaner that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's. So there you have it, real quick and easy bathtub chip repair. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below.